I came to New York in 1962, and I immediately wanted to explore the city, the neighborhood, and I found some very interesting antique shops. And amongst all this stuff, I found a very striking blue and white plate. My hand just reached out and grabbed it. Later, I found out that it was made by Dedham Pottery near Boston. And I started collecting the vases made at Dedham Pottery. And this was my introduction to what later was known as American art pottery. And found out that there was very little in print. It was kind of exciting because here you were piecing together ceramic history by going to flea markets. So at one point, I just concluded that I just like pots. I buy things as an experiment just to see if this pot was really art or not. Pots are made everywhere simultaneously and they were influenced by each other. And so that's the way I collect. I'd been to Paris in 1969. What I liked about the French was that the size and the scale and the glazes and the whole country had absorbed a tremendous amount of Japanese aesthetic. I always say you can buy anything if you buy it at the right time. There were lulls when pots were scarce in America and are getting too expensive, so I could go and buy French pots. You know, I got to Paris and two days later there was this Gauguin coming up. I had made a friend who was a dealer and I was bidding, bidding, bidding. He says, no, 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 you're paying too much. I said, I don't care, I want it. <laughs> I know a trophy when I see one. The major figure in France was Ernest Chaplet. Chaplet had developed a really good copper red glaze on porcelain. It was made famous by China. But my experience with ceramics didn't prepare me for the ambitious scale of the pieces that I encountered there. I want people to see this period that's been pretty much overlooked. And I want to share that discovery. And that's why it was very satisfying to give the Met. And also French pots fill in gaps in their collecting. Part of my iconoclastic nature find areas where I can contribute and make a difference. By now, I have so many pots and I'm attempting not to buy anything, which is easier said than done. Yeah, I see a good pot and my hand goes out for it. <laughs>